Ladies, ladies, please, there's no call to lose our tempers over this. Temper? I haven't even gotten warmed up yet. <laughs> Being able to keep a rein on your spells is a sign of discipline, Quara. Something you could never master. And the instructors aren't here to shield you. Go on. Set fire to this whole street and this sad tavern, and you'll never be able to return to the Academy, let alone Neverwinter. As if I'd want to stay in that prison with you high-nosed witches for another year. You're right. Here among the docks is where you belong, <laughs> peddling yourself for cheap coin. Wow! Someone give me a tankard! This is going to get good! What in the nine hells did I do to deserve the- Oh, thank the gods you've arrived. Do something, these ladies are about to start throwing spells outside my establishment. Whatever you do, do it quick! They won't be able to ferry enough water from the harbor to put out a blaze if things get out of hand. Heatha, I think members of the Watch are here. Friends of yours, Clara? <laughs> Sent to bail you out, perhaps? I don't need anyone's help to turn you into ash. This is not your concern. Quara has threatened us for the last time, and we will stand for it no longer. Yeah? If Quara's so superior to us, then I say let her prove it, without the Academy instructors stepping in to stop things. The instructors? They never stopped me before. You always went running to them, not me. I've heard every word you've said about me. Always talking behind my back, ridiculing me, just because it takes you a shoreman's hour to cast a cantrip. <laughs> and you think setting fire to a stable while casting yours is any better, Quara? I practice restraint, not showy, excessive displays. Yeah, Hitha is simply cautious in her craft. You're the dangerous one, Quara. If you knew how dangerous I was, then you should have known better than to push me this far. I... I would not intervene if I were you, else we'll be forced to stop you as well. We are wizards, you know. Yes, wizards. From the Academy. But we don't want any trouble with you. Just Quara. Heatha, I don't want to be cast out of the Academy if we're arrested. Very well. <laughs> this isn't worth it. You're fortunate this time, Quara. Next time, you'd better not let us catch you outside the Academy walls. Uh, come, Glenna. I think we've smelled enough of the docks for one day. I didn't need your help. Those wizards had it coming. Those noble-born wannabe mages are just jealous. They don't like the fact that I can summon more power from my thumb than they can with a day's worth of concentration. They're always staring into their tomes and books, trying to categorize magic. It's a waste of time. It just is. And either you understand it or you don't. It's instinct. Well, the thing is, I'm not a part of the Academy anymore. I quit. Sort of. After burning down the stable. Last you should have thought of that before starting a fight outside the flagon. And the damage you caused before they even showed up. It's the wood you use in the rafters. It sets fire easily. Sorry about that. Sorry? Oh, lass, I wasn't asking for an apology. You'll be paying me back, you will, for all my lost business, for a tarnished reputation, and for putting me and my kin in danger like that. What?! I'm not working for either of you, ever! No, lass, you will! Or by gods, you'll bring down a fury from me like you've never seen! And not only that, if you don't, you'll be proving those other girls right. I don't think you're willing to admit you don't have discipline, restraint, or a sense of responsibility, like they claim to have. Besides, I doubt you'll be welcome back at the Academy.
You want me to help you? Fine, but I warn you, you may not be able to handle me. But if you want to take a demon by the horns, then fine. 